all thy days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. And the days of our years are the three school years of the ten. And if by reason of strength, they are four score years. Yet in their strength, labor, and sorrow. For it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy man. So teach us to number our name, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? And let it repent thee concerning thy son. O satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad of all of our things. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us. And in the years where men we have seen, let thy work appear unto thy son, and thy glory unto thy children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be among us. Yea, the work of thy hand establish. For the Lord is the light of my salvation. Whom shall I feel? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked evil my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat my flesh, they stumbled and failed. And there were hopes should encamp against me. My heart shall not fear. The war shall rise against me. In this will I be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, and the secret of his tabernacle shall be hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies around about me. Therefore, I will offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing again. I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and to me. When thou sayest, seek ye my face, my heart says unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy sorrow away in my Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my heart and my mother forsake me. Then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path. Because of my enemies, they will be not over until the wheel of my enemies, as such as dream and cruelty. I have faith. 
unless I am to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of the cup. And he shall strengthen thy power.
heaven waits for me. I can sit at his feet. No
for you to come forward today with a prayer. I want to let you know that God is still by your side. Amen. And that all you have to do, even though you're going through a trying situation, continue to pray. Keep your hand in God's hand. Because God is too wise to just to make a mistake. And he's too wise to be unkind. So to the kids, parents, family, all that are gathered, let us stand by our heads as we go to our Heavenly Father and pray. Oh Lord God, our Heavenly Father, we come, Lord, saying thank you for this opportunity. Yes. And Lord, as we come, we ask that you would come by this place, yes. if only for a little while. Yes. Because Lord, we need your name yes. to come and put your arms around this family as they go through this particular period of bereavement. Because, Lord, I realize that you are still our father and we are your children. Yes. So come there and see about it. I ask, Lord, that you would just dry their weeping eyes. Because I realize, oh Lord, that the hearts may be heavy. But I realize, Lord, that you can comfort anybody at any time and at any place. So be with them now, oh Lord, I pray. Let them know, oh Lord, that you are still walking by their side, I pray. Because, Lord, we realize that we need you to be constantly by our side every minute and every hour of the day. So continue, oh Lord, to walk with us, talk with us, and let us know that we're in your own. And now, Lord, I realize that their loved one has been taken away from them. But let them know, oh Lord, that you've just called a home from labor to reward. Yes. Because we too, oh Lord, must go the same way one day. So I ask that you help and prepare us that when we make this journey, that we go to that house that's eternal in the heavens, from which no traveler has returned. Help us, O oh Lord, and prepare us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. This is a glorious day. Yeah, yeah. Miss Easter. Of course, the kindest woman. She always looked at you funny. Y'all excuse me, I had some teeth. Um, work on my teeth now, so y'all want to see? Y'all go ahead and do what y'all got to do, but I'm going to sing this song just for her. <laughs> Miss Easter, I love her. I love Lucy. I love all the family. Um, I've been with Miss Easter, I know, over five years. I was with, I'm with Crater District Area Agency on Aging. Um, I thank God for the time I had to spend with Miss Easter. Um, I took her to Wavy one year for one of her cousins' um, 105th birthday party. We partied there and there, Lord Jesus. Have mercy. I enjoyed everything about it. But one thing about Miss Easter, she was ready. And I know she always said she was ready. And this is what she would say I'm going home to live with God. All my troubles will be over. And I'll make a brand Oh, God, in God. 
free of all sorrow and pain. The word of God reminds us that God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. As you walk through this valley of the shadow of death, be reminded that to all who believe in Jesus Christ, this is not goodbye. But in God's time, we shall be together again. Faithfully submitted from the Providence Baptist Church, Brian A. Walker Sr. is the pastor. Amen. To the family, the Bible says to be absent from the body is to be in the presence of God. Just know that today, Deacon and Param is in the presence of the Almighty God right now. On behalf of the J.M. Wilkinson Funeral Establishment, if we could offer words of encouragement on today, it would simply be the words of a song. That song says, I'm free. Praise the Lord, I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. Today, Deacon and soul is resting. And family, today is just a blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you. Our sister is free. God bless you, family.
congregation to my family. I know the day the same dollar and word, but if you just continue to look to the hill from which coming to your help, knowing right. all of your help comes from the Lord, because time going to pass, you're going to think about mom. But just remember the good moments you had with mom. I can remember when she served at Powder and the dinner ministry. We had fun together, we laughed together, and you stopped by the daughter's house to visit with her and everything. So I'm saying, from the Providence Baptist Church, Sister Lucy, we are always there for you because she was a faithful member. And now she is up there in glory, running down with her husband. Because you know he loved the son, running for Jesus. So she is up there running and listening to Dig him come as he did. I'm running for Jesus. All right, we'd just like to thank you for the opportunity to just speak on behalf of my family. Because each the world of part of my family. Not only the problems about the church, but through merge. She married into my family and I always said family. Amen. Sydney, where I, they, 
And my brother and I would be in the room, the sad as most kids do, sleeping late, certainly for school. But you hear that loud and infectious voice. Hey, boy, we all at? And you knew Anissa was in town. Sunday came around, and she would always ask, you going to church with me? And uh, if you said yes, I can assure you that you need to dig deep into your closet and get some of your finest clothes, because that out of mind could dress. And she loved to put on clothes. And so as I stay before you, I, I think of the good times, and I hold on to them, and I ask the family to do the same. Ain't to represent the end of a generation. Now, Grandma Hattie and Papa have all 13 of their children back home with them. I challenge and charge each and every one of you, as I will do, to continue those traditions that we so proudly and, and time honor hold dear and near to our heart. Uh, let's take that power back from the devil. Let's remember and love and visit one another. Thank you. She was telling like it is. Whether you wanted to hear it or not, she was going to tell you the truth. 
You know, that's what she was going to tell her story. When she told you something, the delivery, she might not like her delivery, but what she was saying was true. And I'm going to truly, truly miss her. Um, it was just a blessing to just be a part of her family. And look, Lucy, I love you. You know, you can always call me for anything. And like, I don't do this, but I had to do it for others.
heavenly home that we see has a different set of values that we experience here in this life. In this life, we often value life by how much and how much we can gain, what we can accumulate, how many dollars we have, how much property we own. We value oh, a job by how much money it pays. We value our house, we value our car by the amount of money that we pay for them. And sometimes, oh, we even value the members of the church by what they do and how well they can do. But the home to which we are traveling values of men and women by their character. Oh yeah, but not by their money because when you get over there, Oh, your money won't be worth anything. Why, what value uh, in, in, in this life won't have any value when we get home? Oh, when a person leaves one country and enters another country, his currency has to be exchanged for the currency used in its destination country. The value of currency varies from nation to nation. Well, if a man would leave France with seven francs, uh, but they would only be worth one dollar when he got to the United States. Uh, he can leave Italy with 2,191 lira. But when he gets to America, he's only got one dollar. Uh, he can leave Vietnam with 14,953 dong and still just have one dollar when he gets to America. But that same man can leave America with one hundred dollars and be a millionaire in Vietnam because his one hundred dollars in American money will exchange for one point five million dollars. Oh, that's why the word of God continuously challenges us to build up for ourselves treasures in heaven where they will not rust or corrode. These treasures remain and keep their value because they are guaranteed by the glory of God. Oh, when we get home, money won't matter because even the streets of hell are paid with gold. What would it matter? Oh, yeah, oh, we'll be the love of God that runs from heart to heart and breast to breast. Well, well, we, we focus on going home, but we also must remember that while we are here in this earth, we have those that are homeless, and homelessness is not defined and qualitatively by the kind of house that we live in, or quantitatively by whether or not we have a house at all. The true homeless of those that have no warmth that will care about them. And we have learned that God always cares about his people. He keeps up with us. The psalmist says that he never sleeps nor slumbers. He knows our down sitting. He knows our uprising. He knows every thought we think and is aware of our whereabouts at all times. He never leaves us alone because he cares and because he keeps us. And whenever a child leaves home, I don't know, but a concerned parent is always concerned about that child. They look for a letter, a phone call, 
of giving every now and then. And a child that is away from home is always on the parent's mind. Oh, that's that, that, that's why uh, God says uh, that I'm going to be with you uh, always. He, he's always on his mind. We are always uh, on his mind. The good life is always on and that he will always work. And yes, while, while there are persons who may not have anyone to care for them. There are still a large number of people who have families that they are concerned about them, but they have chose to disconnect themselves. But they don't call home, they don't write home, they don't go home, they distance themselves from home, they don't have home on their mind, but they have disconnected themselves. And I, I want you to know that it's no good to have a home, but not touching base sometimes. A beautiful decorated telephone is not any good if it's not connected. You got to stay connected with home. And all the electric house with the power disconnected is no good. Only oh, yes, only oh, God, I want you to know today that God has not cut us off. We may have cut him off, but he has not disconnected from us. So today, my brothers and sisters, those who are homeless, oh yes, you ought to want to get to know who the Lord is. Make that connection with him so that you too will not be homeless. Well, in that respect, there are many who have a place to lay their head, but nevertheless, they are yet homeless. Oh, these are those who live in houses of brick with pocket floors and wealthy conveniences and great appliances, but still have no place to call home. Oh, these are those who have a place to lay their head, but have no one to care for them. You got to have somebody that will care for you. And the person that I know that will stick with you and won't leave you is the Lord God of Almighty. Oh, I'm glad. I said I'm glad that I serve a God who cares. He cares enough about me to wipe tears from my eyes. He cares enough about me to lift up my bow down head. He cares enough about me to pick me up when I'm falling down. Well, Finally, my brothers and sisters, we must consider that we may travel many places in this life. Oh, but there's no place. Oh, like going home. Oh, yeah, we travel many miles in this life, searching for the perfect place, only to learn that no car can drive us there. No plane can fly us there. But I want you to know that there is a highway to heaven that manages through a place called Calvary. Abraham took the journey in faith looking for a city with trail foundations. Moses led Israel, but Hebrew says, for he was looking for the reward. Paul labored to witness for Christ in spite of personal danger. He expected to receive a house not made with hand, 
the eternal in the heaven. So it doesn't matter how extensively you travel. Oh, after a few days, you start thinking about her. What I'm going to do when I get home. You can travel to New York City and see the Statue of Liberty. You can go to the United Nations, go to Historic Harlem. But after a few days, you start saying, as soon as I get home, you can go to New Orleans, enjoy watching the saints in the Superdome. But after you've enjoyed, your soul start crying, as soon as I get home, you can go to Atlanta, Georgia, and see the tomb of Dr. Martin Luther King. You can run and peek and see any other. You can stroll through Atlanta on the ground. But after a while, a yanking and a yanking start turning on your soul. And you start thinking about uh, what you're going to do uh, when you get home. Well, when it's strong, I can in Georgia, I look at mountain in Tennessee, uh, are the rambling waters of the Niagara Falls, uh, are the blistering streets of Hollywood. Uh, no matter how fancy the city might be, uh, your soul cries out uh, as soon as I get home. Uh, well, uh, I've had the privilege of sleeping in some of the finest hotels. Hotels that offer them a bouquet of flowers. Hotels that put chocolate on your pillow. Put a morning paper under your door. But no matter how great the service is, I saw the day it might be after a while I let to pack my bags because there's no place like home and that's what the saints of God all shout today there's no place like my heavenly home and as soon as I get home, I don't put on my long white robe. As soon as I get home, I don't put on my golden slippers. I don't walk around heaven all day. As soon as I get home, I want to see Abraham, uh, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, as soon as I get home, uh, I want to walk around that city uh, that sell 12 foundations, uh, that got 12 gates, uh, that are made of pearls. Uh, as soon as I get home, uh, I want to see that city where no hex wheel will ever roll as soon as I get home. I want to see a city where every day is Sunday and the Sabbath will have no end. I, uh,
Thank you. 